Hey tribe. Today I want to talk about how to find your soul purpose. I've actually seen this topic come up a lot on a lot of different platforms, so I figured it'd be something good to talk about. First off, let's start with what is soul purpose? What does that word even mean? Soul purpose is basically someone's ultimate purpose in life someone's destiny, what they're destined to do, what will ultimately bring them fulfillment in life. Once you are doing what you came here to do, you find joy in it. You have a passion. You love talking about it. You enjoy it. It's not like, you know, some dead end job that you just are miserable going to every day. If whatever you're doing does not bring you joy, then I promise you that is not your sole purpose. Your sole purpose is gonna light that fire inside you. You're gonna feel it. You're just gonna know that this is what you were born to do. You might be at a job and it's just not bringing you very much joy. You get up every morning, you go to work, you work eight hours or more a day, then you go home and you don't have that much time to yourself. Really, honestly, you don't. You eat dinner, take a shower, and maybe watch a movie. Maybe you have time for a whole movie, but you're so tired from the day, you just fall asleep. And then you get up and you do everything all over again. And it's the same thing every day after day. And on the weekends, you don't feel like doing anything because you just had this really long, tiring week. You just want to rest. You just want to take that time to rest. So you feel like, is this all that life's about? Is this what I'm going to do for the rest of my life till I'm old enough to retire? I'm going to like spend most of my life working for not even that much money. Yeah. Some of you might be feeling like that. I know I did. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt at my job, my dead end job. I was miserable. I couldn't stand it. I hated it. I was trying to move up in the company, but I really didn't even know why I was trying to. I was like, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I loved the people at the job, but I didn't like the job. It wasn't fulfilling at all. I just felt like there had to be more to life than that. That was, you know, a little bit before COVID started. So COVID came around and I started trying to figure out what I could do to bring my soul fulfillment. I started doing a lot of inner work and I was on lockdown, so I was alone. So it was a great time to find that out. So I made a conscious decision to find out my passion, find out what I needed to do to bring my soul fulfillment. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to find your soul purpose like I did. Think about, you can write it down. Sometimes writing it down helps because it makes it tangible. It gives you something to physically look at. Start journaling for one. That's awesome to get your thoughts out of your head and onto something. Journaling is always good. Start thinking about what are your gifts and talents. And the gifts and talents I'm talking about, I'm not talking about I'm good at sports. I'm good at football or whatever. No, that's not the kind of gifts and talents I'm talking about. I'm talking about, okay, let's use football for an example. You might be good at football. You really love football, but you also have this just amazing ability to bring all the players moods up in the room. You're good at encouraging the other players, putting a smile on everybody's faces. You just have this natural ability to change the mood in the room to positive or you walk into the locker room and the whole mood is off but you don't know really no one told you why but you just have this like you're very intuitive you just are able to know what's going on in any kind of situation you just have a good sense of knowing gifts and talents that are personable you know that have to do with serving others those kind of gifts and talents 
or you just are very charismatic. You are able to articulate your words beautifully. You can capture everybody's attention just by saying a few sentences, speaking for a few minutes. You can capture everybody's attention and everybody is just latched on to the words that you're saying. Or you just have an amazing ability to just be a warm, caring person and just to be a good listener for whenever one of your fellow teammates is having a bad day. Those kind of gifts and talents. Start thinking about what you're good at in those aspects. That is a good way to finding your soul purpose. So think about that. Another tip on finding your soul purpose is start thinking about what is it that you can just read about all day or you can talk about for hours and never get tired of. You can just, for days on end, you can read books and books about and you will never get bored reading it. It will always interest you. For me, it was the mind, hypnosis, and the power that our mind has. That is just very, very interesting to me. It's so intriguing. So I can sit there and read books all day about hypnosis and the mind and I'll never get tired of it. That is something that I started to look into. Once you start finding out what you're good at, what your gifts and talents are, you're a good listener, you're just good at loving people. You just have a big heart. Then put together what you are passionate about, what is something that you just love and you can never get tired of reading about. Knowing those two things is good clues to knowing what your soul purpose is. That is the long way of finding out your soul purpose. A very short way to get the answer straight up is going and having a hypnosis session and aligning with your soul and asking your soul what your soul purpose is. I do those sessions all the time. They're very fulfilling. It nips it in the bud right then because whenever you're able to connect with your soul and ask it straight up, what is my soul purpose? <laughs> and it'll tell you straight up what that is. Also, you can ask your soul, am I on the right path? You might be, you know, pursuing a new business or something and asking, hey, am I going the right direction? And your soul will be straight up with you. It will tell you if you need to keep doing what you're doing or if you need to go a different direction, I do those sessions. <laughs> if you would like to do a session, let me know. The kind of sessions, the soul aligning sessions, the ones that I do, whenever my clients are able to connect with their soul, they get to meet their soul. They get to connect with them and have that connection from there on out. It's not just like a one-time deal. No, you get to keep that connection open from that day forward. So you don't need to have another session with someone else. You are able to have your soul, finally. And you have a team now. To me, that is the easiest and most definitive way to finding your soul purpose is just going straight up and asking <laughs> asking the big guy, your soul, what its purpose is, why you were born, what are you meant to do. After every session, my clients always are like, wow, you know, it's just such a relief. It's just a very powerful session. But if you'd rather not have a session, not do hypnosis, not connect with your soul, I mean, I didn't, you know, whenever I figured out mine, a good starting point is looking at what you're good at, your gifts and talents, and looking at what you can talk about, what you can read about and never get tired of, putting those two together and just doing some inner searching, some heavy meditating, lots of meditating on those two things. Everything will start just coming to you. Everything will just start lining up It'll be so amazing just seeing how things start coming to you. Once you make a conscious decision and speak it into the universe that you are looking for your soul purpose, 
synchronicities will start happening. You will just start getting these divine connections. Things will start resonating. Somebody will say something and a little bell will go off and you'll be like, oh, that was for me. You will just know that quiet, still voice inside will just speak to you and you'll know. I mean, I'm 38 years old and I didn't figure my soul purpose out till two years ago. So if you're younger than 30, don't worry. Just keep living life. Keep living life and experiencing and experience, experience all these different things, as many things as you can, so you can see what you do like. You don't know unless you tried it. For those of you that don't have anything they're passionate about, experience and live life and just go out there and find joy in everything. If something doesn't bring you joy, then change it up and move on to the next. If you have any comments, let me know and let's make this into discussion. So. That's all I have for today, guys. Love and light to you all.